Hi guys, happy Friday. So glad to be here with you. Well, we're going to be talking about YouTube, but before we jump into talking about YouTube and Tube Buddy, I have a scripture for you. I'm coming from the book of Matthews, the fifth chapter, beginning at the third verse. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. May the Lord truly add a blessing to the reading of his word. Listen, it's okay. God's got you. You are blessed coming and going. And you are particularly blessed when people talk about you. Okay? So just go ahead and let the haters hate because God's got you. All right, let's get into this video about YouTube and TubeBuddy. Okay, y'all, welcome to my channel. It's Pastor Kim and it's Friday. Let's talk about YouTube, okay? And real quick, we're going to talk about the things that you should have for best practices. And this is really according to TubeBuddy. You know, y'all know I love TubeBuddy. If you don't have it and you're thinking about getting it, please use my affiliate link below. Okay, click on that link and you can join TubeBuddy and I'll get some, um, some perks, okay? So let's talk about the things you should have, okay? Real, real quick. We're going to make this real quick. You should have a high-resolution thumbnail. Yes, 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 yes. A high-res. It's not like smeary or unclear. You know, the pixels are all tight. So you should have a high-resolution thumbnail. You should have information cards added, info cards, those little cards that flash across the screen or up top and for you know information about another video you should have an end screen added that's a recommended video if somebody is enjoying your video and they watch it all the way to the end then guess what if you have those videos pop up before they leave they might just click on another one sometimes people binge watch your um videos or your channel i have done that you know i like that particular video let me see what else they have and then i might click on a recommended one so yes, the other thing you should have is a comment pinned. You should have a comment pinned. So if you haven't received any comments on your video, then you can pin your own comment. You can make a comment and pin it. You know, have a comment that's pinned. And if you have somebody who frequently comments on your videos, then you should probably pin one of their comments. You know, let them know, look, this is a great comment. I really appreciate it. So that means that pin comment goes right at the top. Okay, now this is one that people sleep on, okay? You should have um, your video liked on Facebook, which means that you shared it out to Facebook and then you should have at least one like. So you can share it out to Facebook, like it yourself, you know what I mean? Go back and, and click like on it. A lot of people think that a lot of the click-through um the click-throughs come through Instagram, but statistically, according to YouTube, not to me, statistically, most of your click-throughs come from Facebook, okay? Meaning that most of the time when you advertise about a video on social media, they will come through Facebook, okay? Don't know the stats on TikTok yet, 
but between Instagram and Facebook, Facebook is more popular for click throughs than, um, Instagram. All right. Um, captions added. Okay. Um, if you want to add captions so that, uh, people from other languages maybe can look at it, or if people don't understand what you're saying, they can see the words listed below. Comments should be hearted. Oh my God. This is something that I slept on tremendously in the beginning of my channel. And I apologize to everybody commenting. First of all, I think something happened when I changed my name. My channel name was Pastor Kim's Corner of Power. Then I just changed it to Pastor Kim's Corner. So I lost like all these comments. I didn't, they just disappeared. And then all of a sudden, when I go to look into my comments, like I normally do, all of these comments from a year ago, six months ago, two years ago. I mean, I had oodles of comments and I just didn't know what to do. You know, and somebody even commented in the comments like, oh, you you really thought she was going to um, give you a heart back, you know, for the comment and put a laugh. And so I, you know, I commented to them and apologized. Like, I didn't even know I had this comment. Like, I don't know if that's happened to any of y'all where comments have come out of nowhere. Like, yo, what happened? And of course we know that, you know, channels who have hundreds of comments, 300, 400, 500, you can't, you can't possibly heart every comment and comment on every comment, but we're not there yet. Okay. Some of us, at least I know I'm not, but I just went back and started, um, hearting those comments, um, anyway, and it is what it is. Okay. Then this is another one, which people don't do. And I'm going to tell you about this one according to TubeBuddy and YouTube. They're big on this. It's up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, I'm just providing you information. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> the last one is um, chapters, okay? So they recommend, YouTube recommends and TubeBuddy recommend that you add chapters. Now, I'm going to tell you the good thing about chapters when you add chapters. First of all, I don't readily add chapters to my videos unless they're more than 20 minutes long and or unless I have various topics within the video, okay? So the good thing about chapters is they have to be, like when you create your chapters, you put a zero colon zero zero for the minutes and the seconds, and then you put the beginning of the video or usually the title of the video, what the video is about, blah, blah, blah. Each chapter, there has to be a 10 second interval between each chapter, okay? Of course, that's really, really short, but um, it should be at least 10 seconds between, okay? So for your next chapter, you might be two minutes into the video and you might be talking about, you know, what I ate for breakfast. So for example, if you have a video that says spend a day with me and you start with breakfast, then you start where you went, then you start for lunch and then you start where you went again, you might want to make those chapters, okay? So that people, they might not want to watch the whole video. They might want to say, okay, well, what does she have for breakfast or what does she wear today? So two minutes in the breakfast, four minutes in the clothes, you know, that type of thing. So if it's at 4.30, if you start talking about your outfit at 4.37, you put 4 colon 37, space, and then type the title. Now, this is the good thing about chapters, y'all. You should create your chapter titles as if they were searchable, okay? As if someone might search about that, okay? The more generic you are, you have to be, this is going to sound crazy, but you have to be specifically generic when it comes to um, YouTube and titles. And we will definitely talk about this again, but I'm just trying to make this video real quick for Friday. So when you create your chapters, you might say um, uh, 4 point 30, 4 colon 32, get ready with me you know, whatever that is, GRWM breakfast. Okay. And that, that means that if somebody is searching for that, because remember YouTube is a search engine. So, and, and you really have to get in, you really have to get that concept. YouTube is not about my video per se. It's about what people search for. And if they happen to search for something and my video comes up, and we're going to talk about that on another Friday, then 
that topic, if, if they happen to search for a topic and my video comes up by way of title or topic or chapter, then I'm in. Okay. So if you're searching for get ready with me for breakfast, and that may not be the title of your video, but it's the title of one of your chapters, then your video will pop up. Okay. Your video will pop up in the suggestion uh, area because your titles, your, um, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your chapter titles are subtitles to your video. So therefore, they can come up at any given time, okay? You might be talking about bananas and potassium within your Get Ready With Me video. And if you label one of your chapters bananas and potassium and somebody searches for banana and potassium, your Get Ready With Me video is going to pop up, okay? High possibility, high possibility. That's the advantage of chapters okay so again for best practices for good um youtube video we have uh again oh and i did forget one okay so we've got the high resolution thumbnail info cards end screens added comments pinned liked on facebook captions added comments hearted chapters added and let's not forget the key words. Do you have any key words? Do you have any tags? Okay. Make sure you put in some tags. I know people put in three within the description. That's great, but you can actually copy your tags and save them. You can put your tags in default. So if your channel is about one thing, like my keto queen channel, I've got at least a hundred tags already saved. Okay. So depending on what the, um, the particular video is about, I can just go in and add a few more tags but tags are extremely important guys extremely important the more the better okay so then that makes it nine things or eight plus a bonus all right so that's our youtube conversation for today it is short and sweet okay and um oh yeah and the playlist number 10 another bonus the playlist okay categorize your videos the the better <clears throat> when you categorize your videos because guess what when someone goes to look at your video they watch your video they've enjoyed it now they want to go back and look at another video and instead of clicking on the recommended video at the end they may not want to watch that so they go to your channel and see okay i want to watch something similar to what i just watched okay so if you have your playlist and you have your videos characterized then they can go back and watch your vlogs they can go back and watch your weight loss journey they can go back and watch Time Out with the kids. They can go back and watch Shopping. However you have your videos sectioned off or categorized, they can go back and watch those more specifically. You want to give the viewer... You want to make it as user-friendly as possible for the viewer so they don't have to do any work in maneuvering through your channel, through your videos, or whatever. The more user-friendly your channel is, the better, okay? The longer somebody will stay. And we're going to talk about that staying long, okay? Don't forget to watch at least two minutes, okay? We're going to talk about that next time, okay? You know, it's so important to stay for a while because many people will watch, click on your video, but they won't stay. So if you click on the video, if you click on my video, stay for a couple of minutes, okay? Two minutes of your life, two minutes of your day. That's not asking too much, okay? All right, guys. I love you. Happy Friday. And I will see you in the YouTube streets. Don't forget if you're interested in too, buddy, down below. Click the link down below. Have a blessed day, purpose-filled life, and I love you with that agape love.